Welcome back everyone. We are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel on the solo series. Um, we are starting Digital Bugs in Cyberspace. Uh, we can't continue the Gears of Justice just yet. Um, we have to get some more uh, Fire Orbs. So let's go ahead and start the scenario and get a little, little bit of the uh, backstory on these guys. Digital Bugs in Cyberspace. Every time I say cyberspace, I think of Cyber Chase, that old uh, PBS kid show. Uh, the rapid progress of cyber networks has brought great benefits to humanity. Okay, this music reminds me of Cyber Sleuth. Like Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Ooh, you should play this. Yeah, well, I, I kind of stopped halfway through. You not not, like not even halfway one. through. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. You played the whole thing, but you start recording. Yeah, yeah. Probably because I've played all the way through. I'm like, I don't play something else. Anyway, back to the story. Um, they are now an integral integral part of our lives. However, the rapid progress and change left several minor bugs in the corners of the network. Initially, they were just meaningless data with little impact. However, the bugs accumulated data progressively learned over time. And by the time we noticed, they'd taken on the appearance of insects. Experts theorize that their primary objectives are, oh gosh, pro proliferation and evolution. Despite their differing qualities, the peculiar thing is that they act as if they were one species with a singular purpose. In our world, we observe a symbiotic relationship between ants and aphids, in which ants drive away ladybugs, the aphids natural enemy, to obtain nectar from the aphids. However, ants and aphids are different species whose objectives don't align. Might it be that the bugs were born of a singular datum and only because their appearances differ are they assumed to be different species? It will take some time to get to the bottom of this. In any case, we cannot overlook the bugs spreading throughout the network. Network administrators have come to refer to these, defe these defects who've achieved rapid growth and evolution as digital bugs. Henceforth, henceforth, they've taken action to exterminate these defects. Oh, dang. Okay. Let's take a look. Learn the ins and outs of digital bugs. Let's check the opponent deck real quick. This is what we're going to be fighting here in a moment. Okay, so I mean, they've got the usual stuff. Okay, Howling Insect. So that's definitely one we want to try and not kill, but we'll see. Monster Born, Bug Matrix. What else do they have? Right here. Let's recruit and select from friends. Monster Controls Destroy. Okay, so definitely trap card there. And that can just be done at any time. So... Need to watch out for that. And MST. Okay, so not, not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and play. Let's see what we get. Okay, what makes digital bug deck unique? Sniper, more powerful monsters, including. Okay. Let's take a look. So, digital bug scent a bit. And digital bug web soldier. Okay, what happens if I summon him? So level three, they're both level three. Okay, so he's going to switch himself to defense position to bring out Centibit, right? Okay. So we summon Centibit. And we summon Skiradiator.
attack your opponent's life points directly. Okay. Attack directly with your special summon. Oh, okay. So use bug signal now. To bring out... Digital Bug Corbage and attack again. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Okay. So we got those. So let's see what we get. We get that and more cards. Okay. So let's start with their loner deck. And let's see what we can do. Oh, there's Digital Bug. Corbage. Nice. Okay. I'm first. So what is this? Once we turn with this card and attack, you target one in your graveyard. Change your defense position. Once you're in defense position. Okay. Cannot be used. Once we turn with this card in face of its change from attack position to defense position, you can add one level three and second from your deck to your hand. Okay. Cassie Fender in your deck, but negate its effect. Oh, I wonder. Did they give me three copies or two? Looks like three. Awesome. Okay, who are we going to bring out? Let's bring out. Hmm. Monster in the field, actually, so you can touch my turn card. So I can make one of the from the field gain. Change battle position. Oh, dang. So let's bring out this guy. Let's put him in defense position. And hopefully stop. If they try and do some effects, we can just stop it. Wait, what? Who can I go into from here? Oh, Corbage. Okay. And you know what? We are going to... Set this, and we'll wait for their turn. Uh-oh. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and activate it. Get rid of your guy. Um... Three monster, six monster from your hand, deck to your hand. Now we'll just do this. Destroy his field spell. Nah, it doesn't matter. What is that back spell? When I destroy a battle or card effect instead of your it's controller can add one and somewhere at the same level as a destroy monster from their deck to their hand. Oh, okay. Um, all monsters that. Any monster that's normal summon, summon, special summon is changed to defense position. Okay. Let me check that again. deck to your hand. Okay. Let me activate this first. Summon him. Activate his effect. Uh, nope. Don't want to negate it. Who do we want, though? Space up. Um... Uh, 
You know, some other things that we can switch on this card from the hand. Ah. Okay, we're gonna use this for next turn potentially. Um. So all I have is Corpage. Hmm. Yep. Let me double check real quick. Okay. So if we go into Corvage, he would only have one material. And he can't go into this because it needs two material. But then I could destroy his card. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. You're probably going to die just saying. Sorry. Yeah, that was my bad. Um, oh, I can do that effect? Oh, cool. Um, let's get this guy. Oh, Maxi, okay. So let's... So... You control change defense position, and if you do special summon one level three, you can from your hand. And this one, when you normal summon a level three, you can special this card from your hand. This card here, level five, level seven. Ooh. So we want to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out the big guy. Right? Yeah. We want you and you. And we're going to do some piercing battle damage. Um, you must have this normal flip summoned. It's changed it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're gonna go ahead and just get rid of his, uh... He, he's gonna go to defense position anyways, it doesn't matter. I see. So now let's just go to end phase. And we're going to switch these guys to attack position next turn. Oh, I forgot this card is like... Oh, 
man, this I do not like that. Okay. I need to get rid of that. Change the attack position. Do his effect. Get rid of whatever card he has. You can turn it to defense position. Let's go ahead and attack. Okay. Let's go to end phase, and we should be able to end this next turn. actually not a bad card if you play this first because then they just can't put anybody in attack position. Okay, let's finish this. Nice. Okay, it took a little bit longer than expected. Um, yeah, stumbling did not help at all. I mean, it helped, but didn't want it. Okay. Let's go ahead and use this deck. Hopefully we should... Hopefully they don't... Oh, I didn't check if they have... Do they have Stumbling? I don't know. If they have Stumbling, that's definitely a thorn in the side. Okay, second. Ooh, nice. Are you going into? Okay. Oh, son of you, mother. You know what? That's fine. What we're going to do, we can actually kill it. So let's go first. We are going to send hair to the graveyard, right? Yeah, we're going to send hair to the graveyard. That's, that's fine. We're going to activate his effects. And we are going to get rid of that back row card. Wait, what did he just do? Spell position you do it has an effect against any of the turn let's turn this card to its points. You son of a gun, okay. Well then let's just do this. They're gonna be in defense position anyway. Let's do that and I don't think it's gonna matter really. Um, yeah, no, we should... Let's do this. That's fine. Let's go ahead. We are going to... Oh, I could go into... No, but they need to be in defense position. Yeah, so you can't turn this guy into defense position. And now it's gone. That's right. That's right. 
Okay. I have a dark monster in the graveyard. Oh no, he could be Pendulum. Okay, I see. Um, let's go ahead and get Hirume out here. And you know what? We are actually going to go into Kagutsuchi. Put him right here so we can boost up Code Talker. And we're going to put him there so that way he can just banish this card. Okay, who did we gain? We got... Okay, we've got a few different ones in the graveyard. So let's go ahead. We're going to send... Who do we want to send to the graveyard? You know what? Let's send... Alistair. Let's go ahead and special summon this guy. Okay, and I'm not going to use his effect. We are just going to attack. Okay, and you know what, just for safe measure, let's go ahead and get Zeus out here, just in case he tries to bring anything crazy. Okay, let's see what he's going to try and do. and bring out. You know what? That's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. Nope. Now it's dead. Oh my, he had a monster reborn. Holy crap. We'll have two, three thousand attacks next turn. Oh. Okay. Let's get Alistair over here. I'm very curious as to what that back row card is. Right, I can go into him with this one. Um, let's go ahead and use Alistair. He's got so many cards to banish. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this one for him. Okay, so now at least if he's going to banish a monster, he can only banish Egyptian God Slime.
Right, because he can't be targeted. Your opponent monsters cannot target for attacks, and your opponent cannot target with the card effects. Yep. Okay. And just in case he has some type of monster effect, let's go ahead and bring back Alistair. And let's finish this. Nope, I don't even want you to try anything. Yeah, but I should have been sooner, except he had a, uh, I didn't realize what that other card did. Or else I would have... That's true. <laughs> Actually, no, it's about the duel, not the outcome. Yeah. The experience. Yeah. Okay, let's get this story real quick. The digital bugs are pests that devour the cyber networks. The network administrators concluded and implemented a large-scale removal plan. The removal plan, which mainly involved network engineers, was successful, and they eradicated the digital bugs. The defects were fi the defects were fixed, fixed, and peace was restored. However, the peace was short-lived. The cyber network became more vulnerable than before the offensive had launched. Some digital bugs appeared to have survived the attempts at eradication. The engineers who suspected this conducted a thorough scan. Naturally, they found no digital bugs. Meanwhile, waves of interference swelled globally. What could be the cause of these problems? What changed so much before and after the interference? The answer was clear. It was the existence of digital bug of the digital bug. After some deep deliberation, the engineers decided to release the stored digital bug data back into the network. The decision immediately sheds light on the perplexing obstacle. There was only one explanation. The digital bugs repaired fatal errors and helped stabilize the network. It was almost as if they were a symbiotic relationship between humans and the digital bugs. So these are like Digimon. By providing a place for bees to live, humans can get their honey. Similarly, by providing a cyber network for digital bugs, the defects are extinguished. Since then, those that cause notable disturbances are removed, but thorough removal is avoided. Humans have decided to coexist with the digital bugs. That's Digimon. This is it's just like Digimon. That's cool, though. I mean, that's actually pretty cool. Um, okay, that's good. Awesome. Cool. And see, I would have never known that without playing this game. Um, I don't want to go to the store right now. Okay, but we'll go ahead and call it there for this first part of the episode. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.